Hey there, YouTube. Scott Stevens here. How are you doing today? Welcome to another edition of WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. This is episode 71. Today we have World Championship Wrestling, WCW's Thursday Thunder coming at you today. And I just put up a new poll moments ago. I'm going to add a new show to the universe. It's not going to have pay-per-views or anything attached to it. It's just going to be a singular show, uh, probably Tuesday nights. And what I'm going to do is the titles, all of the titles that will be in the organization will be determined on the weekly show there will be no pay-per-views added in because we end up we, we end up just getting too too many pay-per-views and like right now they're with the addition of the one pay-per-view it seems that we're on one just about every week at this point so um you want to have a little time between them pay-per-views are a lot of fun but you want to have a little bit of time between them um so the choices are ECW, NWA, and AWA. And I put up the poll so you guys can get your votes in. I um, I think I'm kind of partial to uh, ECW. And the reason for that is just because um, I've had NWA in my universe before. I've had AWA in my universe before. So... Um, ECW would be kind of different. Like I said, the uh, titles, there would be no pay-per-views. The titles would be determined on a weekly basis on the show. And um, I don't know. You guys let me know. I, I'm, I'm debating on the other open day about adding a female show, all-female show. Um, but I don't have all the women I downloaded once before. So um, I'll only be limited to the women who are in the game. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. But we have Thunder coming at you tonight. And, oh, let's take a look at the rivalries we have currently in WCW. X-Pac and Goldberg battling over the Hardcore Championship. Sting and Baron Von Raschke and Bob Cook is in a new feud with Scott Hall. Here's a look at tonight's card. This preview is brought to you by the WWE Shop. Make sure you use the link in the description below to get to the WWE Shop for all of your favorite WWE apparel, merchandise, and memorabilia. They have specials every single day on their website, so be sure to check that out. Use the link in the description below, WWE Shop. And uh, speaking of merchandise, my merchandise store is open. For the next week and a half, 15% off all orders. So make sure you click the store link at the top of the page and check that out. We got uh, I got a lot of book cover stuff on there. And a lot of Talon Twisters merchandise from the uh, Twister Town novel on there as well. So pretty cool stuff. So that's what your preview is brought to you by, the WWE Shop. And I have my shop open as well. All right. So on the card tonight, we have the Blue Blazer taking on Stone Cold Steve Austin. Crusher Blackwell takes on the big show. The voice Justin Michaels is here. He'll battle Triple H. Eddie Guerrero takes on Bruiser Brody. X-Pac battles Kane. Ric Flair's in the house. He'll take on Goldberg. Non-title match there. Vader takes on Roman Reigns. And tonight's main event, it's a tag team attraction. The Superstars taking on the Von Eriks. And this is why, this is the reason I was thinking about uh, adding the other show to put all the leftovers in because you have guys here in in ECW who are or, uh, WCW I'm sorry who are not WCW guys Roman Reigns he, he just he doesn't belong there Kane doesn't belong there uh, Bruiser Brody yeah, he's kind of if he was NWA so uh, Triple H doesn't belong there Justin Michaels doesn't belong there Crusher Blackwell was an AWA guy he doesn't belong there Big Show doesn't belong there and neither one of these guys belong in, in uh, WCW so we have a card tonight. Uh, a WCW card of most of the guys who were not in WCW, and that's what started me thinking about adding uh, another show onto the universe, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all of the excess guys. My WWF is set up of guys who were in the WWF in the 80s, 
and early 90s. Um, the All the other WWF guys, or WWE guys, can go over to the new organization, whether it's ECW, AWA, NWA, it doesn't matter. Um, but that will lighten the load on the World Wrestling Federation, so we'll see more of those guys. Same in WCW. These guys will be put over there, and the, whatever show I add in will just kind of be the catch-all of, you know, guys who don't really have a home in my universe, and um, they'll just be put off, and then WCW will have all WCW guys. World Wrestling Federation will have just WWF guys, and um, so that's... Uh, that's what I'm looking for. So um, take a look at the poll, ECW, AWA, NWA. My vote is ECW, but uh, you guys may see something different. So let me know which show you want me to add in. For here, though, today, let's start the show, and then we can start the action. A lot of non-WCW guys on the card today. That's, you know, started me thinking. And it'll lighten the load on all of the rosters, and we'll see more guys. Because I'm, I'm, I always lean toward the retro guys, and I know a lot of you guys like to see some of the newer guys as well. Yeah, about the '90s is my era, '80s, '90s, and really '80s. So you can separate the '80s into World Wrestling Federation and put the '90s and past, or '90s and forward, in the new show. Uh, just trying to lighten the load on the uh, thrust just a little bit so we can see some more guys. We are live in Calgary, Canada. Thursday Night Thunder. World Championship Wrestling sold out crowd here in Calgary at the Saddle Dome. Home of the Calgary Flames. First match of the evening. Stone Cold Steve Austin taking on the Blue Blazer. I don't really think there's much competition in this match here i'm gonna pick stone cold steve austin for my victory my pick for victory let me know what you guys think who do you think is going to get the win i went through uh mlb the show 23 today my franchise and i made my entire national league all college baseball teams so i'm gonna start playing franchise again i'm not gonna stream it though or anything but that was Kind of fun and very, very time-consuming to uh, make all National League of college baseball teams. Not enough safe slots to do the entire Major League that way, but I, I wanted to. But, so I'm going to have some fun with that off-camera. But uh, right now the focus here is uh, which show are we going to add to the universe? I'm leaning towards ECW. Stone Cold Steve Austin may be the greatest superstar in WWE history in the opinion of many. Austin's opponent has a tall order tonight. Stone Cold Steve Austin looks prepped and ready to stop a mud hole. His opponent from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 220 pounds. Boom! Blue Blazer. I don't always agree with it, but this superstar isn't afraid to come out here and take things by force. Oh, you hypocrite. I'll just wait until another superstar, one you don't like, Saxton, decides to come out and take what they want, and we'll see how you respond then. <laughs> The Blue Blazer battling Stone Cold Steve Austin. The bell rings and 
Corey, there are heroes, there are villains, and then there's Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin is a conservative. Neck breaker followed by a leg drop, and the Blue Blazer is off to a very solid start here against Stone Cold Steve Austin here at the Calgary Saddle Dome. Whether he's studying tape or spending extra time at the PC, he expected this challenge. Nice suplex there by the Blue Blazer. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. Blazer setting up to the top rope. Diving leg drop. Wow, he was 15 feet in the air there. Carefully measured. Knee drop to the forehead. Blazer's really taking it to Austin, and he's going to go for an early pin. He got a two count. Damage starting to take a little bit of a toll on Stone Cold here. There's the reversal. And maybe we'll get the first offense from Austin here tonight. Indeed, we're going to. He's looking anyway. At a vertical suplex, and he nails it. Austin ripping the nose and the mouth of the Blazer apart. Austin turning him over. Cloverleaf submission. Oh, he's got it locked in. Wow, look at the leg strength by the Blazer. Flipped him right off. Nicely done by the Blazer there. Shin breaker by the Blazer. Look at the punches, lefts and rights. Right to the face of Stone Cold, and he finally throws a hip toss in there to stop the assault. Austin looks like he's had enough, but apparently he hasn't. Pendulum backbreaker by the Blazer. Boot to the midsection. Blazer went for a cover, uh, clothesline there. Austin blocked it. There's a solid right hand to the head, and another one from Stone Cold. There's a punch to the throat. That'll slow you down. Austin has the blazer up, walks him to the rope, and drops his throat across that top turnbuckle. That'll crush a larynx, larynx and make it hard to breathe. Stone Cold locking the blazer in. Another vertical suplex executed to perfection by Austin. Snake eyes, and all of a sudden the Blue Blazer is not in control of this bout anymore. Austin has the feet. Alley of two points for Stone Cold. Elbow to the midsection there. Nice reversal by the Blazer. Swinging neck breaker. Austin is down. Austin with the Luthes press. Out of nowhere. Several right hands to the head. A Blazer seeing stars. Austin goes for the pin. Wow, that was close. Two count. Austin can't believe it. Thought he had him there. I thought he did too. Blazer was completely stunned. And he caught the boot. Blazer's got Austin in, he's got him up. Jumping pile driver. Delivered perfectly, and the Blazer's gonna go for the cover. He's got the leg hook. And it's a two count. Austin kicked out. Blazer can't believe it, he thought that was enough to finish him off. Big right hand by Stone Cold. He is going crazy, no he's not. Blazer reversed him once again. The Blue Blazer holding his own here against Stone Cold Steve Austin. Blazer taking a, a break, catching a breather. And he's going to go for the cover. The shoulders are down. It's a one count. Austin kicked out. Blue Blazer, though, telling the crowd he thinks it's time to finish it off. Sharp elbow there, right to the middle of the face. And Austin is in pain. Blazer drops the knee on the elbow. He's really gone much better than I thought he would against the Rattlesnake, the Texas Rattlesnake. He's got the sharpshooter locked in, the Blue Blazer. 
Not only has he got the sharpshooter, but he's pushing on that injured knee. Stone Cold's in trouble in the middle of the ring. Blazer didn't have it cinched in as hard as he could, as deeply as he could, but he had it on for a long time, and now he's going to try and get the win. Wow, oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was over. Austin got a shoulder up a fraction of a second before that third slot. Hey, Jay. Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing well today. Diving leg drop missed the mark. We're on the first match of the day here. So you haven't missed anything, although this has been a really good match. Stone Cold with a knife edge chop drops the blazer. There it is! Stone Cold stunner! He's done! Austin grabs the leg. I don't think he needs it. And he's got a three count on the blue blazer. That was a fantastic match. Blazer gave him everything he could handle. And Stone Cold Steve Austin comes out victorious. Here is your winner, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'll tell you what, Stone Cold's not going to want to get in the ring with the blue blazer anytime soon. He gave him everything he could handle. But he gets the victory by way of the Stone Cold Stunner. He got a three count on the Blue Blazer. And he had to work hard for it. He absolutely did. Solid match to start things off here on Thunder at a sold out Calgary Saldome. Stone Cold Steve Austin is your victor. Four stars is your official match rating. What a fantastic way to start off Thunder. All right, let's see who's up, who's up next. Don't forget this Saturday, this Sunday, this Sunday, 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 Sunday. Sunday the 14th, I'm going to be at the uh, Benefit Wrestling Show put on by FWE, the Florida Wrestling Entertainment. 2 o'clock bell time in Oldsmar, Florida. I'm going to be part of the meet and greet before the show. It's a benefit show for the Moffitt Cancer Society. The Moffitt Cancer Center is the name, not society. And I'll be part of the meet and greet before the show. And a portion of my book sales from the meet and greet will be added to the donation for the Moffitt Cancer Center. So if you're in the Florida area, the Tampa, Florida area anyway, come on out and say hi. There are no tickets. It's free to attend. And we got... A great afternoon of wrestling action, and several people are going to be part of the meet and greet. My buddy, the American Giant, is going to be there. I just talked to him last night, so that's going to be fun. But it's this Sunday at 2 o'clock. Stop on by if you're in the Tampa area. It's for a good cause, and you get some free wrestling. All right. What was the headline there? Hey there, guys. Thanks for joining, man. Hope you're doing well today. I bet you're tired of wrestling. <laughs> The Blazer gets burned by the Texas Rattlesnakes. Stone Cold Steve Austin. That was a fantastic match. Four stars to start things off here. Next up, we got the Big Show. Squaring off against Crusher Blackwell. I'm going to pick Crusher Blackwell to get the victory. That's going to be my pick. Let me know what you guys think. Who you think is going to come out victorious here. Should be a good battle. It is, there is no question, it is a heavyweight battle. I'll bet you are, Godspeed. <laughs> Godspeed says Crusher Blackwell is going to get the victory. And you're still, you're not even going home yet. When are, you, when are you going home, Godspeed, next week? The Big Show. Ten more days. Why are you staying so long, Godspeed? Cole, I don't know how the superstar's going to do anything to change that into being more alive. Yeah, Corey, but the fear... The Big Show squaring off against Crusher Blackwell. Don't forget, I have a poll up, a new poll up on the channel. I'm going to add another show to the universe. 
I put a poll up to decide which it'll be, AWA, NWA, or ECW. No pay-per-views will be attached to it. All of the titles will be battled for on the weekly show. I don't want to add any more pay-per-views. But I'm going to add a third show to lighten the load on the rosters a little bit. I'm leaning towards ECW, but I'm going to let you guys choose. You can vote on that whenever you get a chance. I want to lighten the WWF roster and the WCW roster to just guys from those eras. There's Crusher Blackwell. And his opponent from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 376 pounds, Crusher Blackwell. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why. Crusher Blackwell is one of the guys so who will head over to the new organization because he was never really a WWF guy or an NWA guy. He was an AWA guy. That's what I'm doing with the, the new show I'm going to add in. It's where all the leftovers and castouts are going to end up. Always walking guys with a chip on his in the WWE from the 90s on. AWA guys like Crusher Blackwell. <laughs> you have a fun time away from Canada. <laughs> This is a truly heavyweight battle, Crusher Blackwell and the Big Show. Crusher Blackwell, the favorite coming in. And we are underway. We have a sold-out crowd here at the Calgary Saddle Dome. And Crusher Blackwell off to a good start. Back breaker on the Big Show. In position to win tonight. Coming into this fight is a Snake Eyes and the Big Show is down early in the bout. Uh oh. Look at this. Ball away slam by the Big Show. Splash. Crusher likes to do the splash as well. Another one. He was going to hold that one to try and get a pin. Wow, three in a row. Crusher's got a foot underneath the bottom rope. He went for a fourth. He went to the well once too often. Blackwell rolled out of the way of that one. But he took three of them. And that can't feel good. Oh, nice neck breaker there by Crusher. There's a boot to the face with another one to follow. Fist drop right to the forehead. Crusher Blackwell in control here. Boot to the midsection. Knee to the midsection. I'm sorry, by The big show turns things his way once again. The Devils just announced that Jack Hughes is out of the lineup tonight. Big show goes for the cover here. Devils are playing the um, Maple Leafs tonight. First of a home at home. And Jack Hughes is out of the lineup tonight. Again, upper body injury, they say. And I'll tell you what, when I read that, my blood boiled. They just said upper body injury, Godspeed. That's all they say. Off the ropes. Another splash by the big show missed. Travis Green said upper body injury. They pressed him. They said, what happened? He was fine the other night. And he said, that's all I'm saying about it. He's not in the lineup. He was kind of rude. But man, my blood boiled. We have four games left. We're five points out of a playoff spot. Eight possible points left on the schedule. We cannot lose any more games. I mean, we, we could actually win all the rest of our games and still not make the playoffs. But we're in a crunch. Jack Hughes does not need to be out of the lineup. If he's not dead, he needs to be on the ice. In my opinion. He's making $7 million a year. We're in the playoff crunch. We cannot lose any more games. Your top star needs to be on the ice. Once we're mathematically eliminated, shut him down for the season. I have no problem with that. But as long as we're still in contention officially, he needs to be on the ice. He's out there yesterday looking at the eclipse with, with Luke. All was fine. 
and then today he can't be in the lineup. And, uh, you know, I'm starting to come around to your way of thinking, Godspeed. You know, I'm starting to think maybe it, maybe it's getting time to trade him. He, he's not played a full season at any point in his career yet. He's still young. Big show with the cover. It's a two count. He's still very young, but he's, he still hasn't played a full season yet. He's hurt every year. They need to bulk him up or something, man. I mean, he's already missed. I'm rough estimating here, but I'm going to say he's missed a half of a season to a full season already in his career. I'm going to say he's missed 50 to 60 games in his career already. And, you know, I hate, I'd hate to trade him in any wins four Stanley Cups in a row somewhere. But uh, I'm starting to come around to your way of thinking, you know. And what good is he if he's not on the ice? Damn, that pissed me off when I saw that. One more loss and we're done. There's four games left in the season. End of days on Crusher Blackwell. The Big Show perfectly executed it and got the three count because of it. The Big Show gets the win over Crusher Blackwell. Outstanding back and forth match. The Big Show. Yeah, you're right, Godspeed. You're right. Yep. Yep. The more he gets hurt, no one's going to want him. You're right. You are not wrong at all. That was a good match. The Big Show gets the victory over Crusher Blackwell. He was the heavy underdog coming in. And he shut us all up. Three stars is your official match rating. Yeah, I know. The more he gets hurt, yeah, his trade value goes down every time he gets hurt. It's it's really ridiculous. Because when he when he's in the lineup, he's a point per game player. Almost a point and a half per game player. But my God. And the other night he missed a penalty shot. He missed uh, uh, an overtime shootout penalty shot. I mean, he, he has not looked right. But half of Jack Hughes is better than 100% of most of the rest of the Devils. I don't know, man. He just, as far as I'm concerned, you make $7 million if you ain't dead or have a bo broken bone, you should be on the ice when your team is in the playoff hunt. Again, once we're mathematically eliminated, shut them down for the season. I don't care. I don't have a problem with that at all. But we're not yet. So he needs to be in the lineup trying to get us in. All right, next up, we got the voice, Justin Michaels, taking on Triple H. And Godspeed said Triple H is going to get the win. I love the voice, man. He's he's a great friend of mine, but I don't think he's going to come out on top of the, the game. So I'm going to make Triple H my choice as well. Let me know who you guys think is going to get the win. You know, Godspeed, I've always said, since the Devils drafted Jesper Bratt, and you can ask Bonnie, since since I first saw Jesper Bratt in a preseason game after he, he was trying to make the team for the first time, I told her that kid, he's going to be something special. They got a diamond in the rough with him, and he's just gotten better and better and better every year. I love Jesper Bratt. I just knew the first time I saw him that we, we got a steal in the sixth round with him. And if everybody could play to their potential, we'd be unstoppable. Justin Michaels, the voice. I talked to Justin the other day. He's doing well. He's pretty much retired from wrestling, though. He's not really doing much anymore. I'm telling you, Justin was one of the greatest managers on the independent circuit. Never afraid to take a bump. Great on the mic.
and a great wrestling mind, but he's pretty much retired now. I tried look so hard to get WWF to WWE to look at him and give him a look because he deserved he deserved the promotion to get up there. I had Tony Garia getting guys to trying to get guys to come down and look for him. I had Dolph trying to send guys down to look at him, and they just didn't care. They didn't want another manager. Justin's had a pretty good run here, but I think that's going to come to an end here tonight. One of the greatest minds in the business. Yeah, one of the most amazing physical and mental specimens we've ever seen. And his opponent, accompanied by Stephanie McMahon from Greenwich, Connecticut. Weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H. Can you imagine Thanksgiving dinner this year with the McMahons, Triple H, Stephanie, Vince, Shane all sitting down at the table? Shane looking over his father going, so did you shit on anybody today, Dad? Can you imagine the dysfunction that must be running through that family? How do you look at your father after reading the shit that he did? And I mean, it's not like it's new news. I mean, everybody's always known that he's been up to no good, especially women related over the years, but with this Janelle, whatever her name is. I mean, how do you face your father after reading? I'll, I'll bet. I, I believe it, Godspeed. I believe. It. But she, she was named in the lawsuit. They're saying that she knew about everything that was going on and didn't do anything about it. And if that's true, then she's no better. She had to be proven if that's true or not. But she was named in the lawsuit. Saying that she knew everything and didn't do anything about it. The voice, Justin Michaels, look at that kick with the sequined shoes right to the face of Triple H. Justin goes for the cover, he gets a two count. Justin doing exactly what he needs to do in this match get on the game and stay on him. Look at the boots to the face with those shoes. Got sharp heels on those shoes. To the bottom of the back. shoe right to the face it's exactly what justin needs to do here stay on top of the game now he's got a wrist lock locked in yeah yeah you're right guys speed it wasn't just her yet a lot of people knew solid right hands by the voice on the side of the head of triple h justin's heading to the top rope the voice waiting for triple h to get through his feet Look at the Superman punch off the top turnbuckle. Wow. The voice is going to go for a cover. It's only a one count. Stephanie looking extremely worried outside the ring there. Michaels with a knee to the ribs. Justin slamming that knee into the mat. He is really tearing up. Triple H here. Overhand chop. Right hand. Spinning left. Justin lost his last match. I can't remember who it was. Two matches ago, he got a good win over somebody. In the last match he was out here, he lost. He is certainly off to a very good start here against the game. Three knees into the hammy. And Triple H finally with the reversal. And he's got... Look at this. Wow. He's extending parts that don't extend. <laughs> that was good. Justin stretched out like he's never been before. And he turns things around and tosses Triple H's head into the ring apron. Count is at eight. Justin's back in. 
Triple H back in at the count of 8-2. Another Superman punch off the second rope. Justin, we've never seen him use that move before. That's three times now. And Triple H is in trouble. The voice goes for the cover. Triple H kicks out at the count of two. He is in trouble here. Justin has been non-stop since the bell rang. And he just walked into a back elbow from the game. Oh, spine buster. He walked right into it. Triple H finally with a little bit of offense. Boot to the midsection. He brings him in. Oh, you know what's coming next? Pedigree. Triple H. One move and done. No, Justin gets his shoulder up. Triple H has only done about three or four offensive moves. That was a good one, though. It was close to ending it. A voice. Springboard Superman punch off the second rope. Four times he's nailed Triple H with that Superman punch. And he's going to go for the cover. And Triple H kicks out at two. Justin's never used that move before, and he's done it four times this match. There's a nice forearm to the side of the head. Triple H is in trouble. Look at Justin looking over at Stephanie. Telling her you want a real man? Bottom of the shoe to the face. The voice is just tearing Triple H apart. Got a hammer lock on him now. Into the wrist lock. And Triple H being stretched. Double knee to the lower back. And no, Triple H rolled him over this time. Couple of solid right hands to the face. That'll slow Justin down. Stephanie happy with what she's seeing now. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. What is this? What hold is this? Justin's in trouble. I, I don't know what the hell that is. I've never seen that before. Obviously, a lot of pressure on the knees. And the game choking Justin out. He's going to go for the cover. Triple H. Two count. Oh, yeah. I'm sure, Godspeed. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. Triple H Irish whips the voice hard into the corner. The game with the scoop slam. He's up on the second rope. Double axe handle misses. Justin wasn't moving. I don't know how Triple H missed. Throw it across the top rope. Justin is controlled. Look at another Superman punch. Nails him again. Justin found a move that he loves. Wow, he almost got him that time. I lost count five, six times he's done that. We've never seen him do it once. He found something that's working, and he's going to ride it until he either wins or loses here. They're proving effective on Triple H, so why stop? Shoulder to the midsection, and the voice is down. Triple H choking him out. Referee actually trying to get him to stop. He's not listening. Solid left hands and a face slam into the canvas. Triple H has been dominated in this match. He's going to go for a pin. Justin has a foot on the lower rope. I don't know what the referee's doing. He did not count to three. He stopped. And then he got stuck. I don't know what happened. Boot to the midsection. Here he comes again. He's trying for the pedigree. The voice reversed him. Close line by Justin Michaels. That was close. If he had taken that pedigree, it would have been all over. He was almost done when he took the last one. Knee to the face. Triple H is out. Justin should be going for the cover. But instead, he's just standing there. All right. Come on, Justin, do something. He's unconscious. Not anymore. Now you're going to get your ass kicked. Yep. Walked right into the spine buster. Triple H goes for the cover. Wow, that was a Vince Russo match if I ever saw one. Triple H gets the three count. It should have been a victory for Justin Michaels. 
Wow. The voice manhandled most of that match. And he should have gone for the victory, but he didn't. For no reason at all, he just stood there, waited for Triple H to recover. Walked right into the spine buster. I think that was a Vince Russo match. 100% because that was a crap ending for sure. Four stars, though. It was a good match. And Triple H gets the victory. Hard fought. Over the voice, Justin Michaels. That was completely stupid. All right, fourth match of the evening. We've got Eddie Guerrero going up against Bruiser Brody here in front of a sold-out crowd at the Calgary Saddleome. I'm going to go with Bruiser Brody to get the win on this one. What do you guys think? Let me know who you think is going to get the win. He'll have a tough match for sure, Eddie Guerrero. Can't hold his own, but Bruiser Brody is just this side of crazy. Godspeed says Eddie Guerrero is going to get the win. Yeah, no kidding. It, that AI, the AI is absolutely ridiculous. All right, let's send it down to ringside here at the saddle. Oh, here comes Eddie. All right, we are in for a treat tonight. The cocky young cruiserweight. Former ECW star who has had unmatched success in WCW. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from El Paso, Texas. Weighing in at 205 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. The former WCW Cruiserweight and United States Champion, a man who has held the ECW television title. And above all, Eddie Guerrero doesn't care if he's liked. He's not sure if he ever will care. Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero always sporting that cocky look on his face. In for a tough match here today. He always backs it up inside the ring. He may be a cruiserweight, but he can take on anyone. Taking on Bruiser Brody. Here on Thunder. <laughs> a guy who treats every match as if it's the biggest one of his career. He definitely plans to steal the show tonight. He definitely does. Eddie Guerrero has promised to lie, cheat, and steal his way to victory. Bruiser Brody's going to have something to say about that, I'm sure. The bell rings. We're underway. Nice reversal there by Brody. Turn it into a backdrop. And Brody running power slam. He's going to go for an early pinfall. You're not going to get any of that quickly, though. One count only. Exactly. Brody stomping away in the chest of Eddie. Helps him do his feet. Spinning right hand, and Eddie's right back down. Splash! We've seen a lot of those here today in Calgary. Brody's got Eddie up. Look at this. Uh -oh, right. Fall away slam. Bruiser Brody off to a good start here until that point anyway. Nice boot to the face. I don't know what Eddie was trying to do there, but he failed miserably. Brody slams his knee down into the mat. Off the ropes. Brody splash. Nailed him. He's going to go for the cover once again. One count only. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Six. 
saving us from having to sit through that. Uh, I, I thought it was a good match. We know Eddie Guerrero isn't above bending the rules to earn the win. I thought it was a good match for sure. You cannot let Eddie out of your sights, Cole. You need to keep him grounded. I don't. I don't buy into this uh, Cody finished his story shit, though. You know, that, that's uh. I mean, to me, that that that's stupid, and I get it. It's the storyline issue. The match was good, though. The, the match was good. I'm not going to take anything away from the match, but I just I don't buy the uh, Cody finished his story. What? What? <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> Lifted way high to the heavens. What was his story? His story was he left WWF and went to AEW and was one of the driving forces behind getting it started. Eddie Guerrero goes for the cover. Wow, got a two count on Brody. So I don't I don't buy into that. And the story is not over. The story's not finished. He won the championship. That, that's not the end of the story. He's gonna lose the title at some point. Twelve splash! Brody got the knees up. He's going to lose the title at some point. That's when his story will be finished. But, so I don't buy into that. But it was a good match, though. It was a good match from what I saw. He's ejected from the ring. Eddie Guerrero tosses Brody over. Exactly. Exactly, Godspeed. That's exactly what the story was to sell. WWE 2K24. Exactly. I'll tell you. I'll tell you something that I didn't like, too. And I wasn't going to say anything, but I'll, I'll tell you, because a lot of people disagree with me, and I, I can't understand it. The ring announcer crying at the end. First of all, I don't think she did a good job at all. I, I saw all the highlights. I, I heard her shit. I just don't, I, I, I don't think a woman should be a ring announcer. It just doesn't fit. It's not a good fit. Not that women can't do it or anything like that. I just don't think it's a good fit. And it was absolutely nothing special about her and her ring announcing. But her crying at the end of the match, everyone's going, oh, she's so invested. Oh, shut up. I think that was completely stupid and unprofessional. She's not a wrestler. She's the ring announcer. Announce the end of the match. We don't need your emotions. Brody. Gets the two count. Yeah, I know, Godspeed, I know. And that's fine. That's what you want out of your fans. That's why you tell the story. But your ring announcer shouldn't be shouldn't be crying like that. That's and I tell everybody, oh, she was emotionally invested in the storyline. Oh, that really bugged me. That she's sitting there crying. Howard Finkel would never have done that. This one's gonna be decided by the smallest of margins. Sit down, power bomb, crucifix, power bomb, whatever you want to call it. Wow, Brody kicked out. I thought that was it. Eddie held him for a two count. You never would have heard Howard Finkel or Gary Capetta making ring announcements crying. Frog splash, Eddie Guerrero. That's it, Bruiser Brody's done now. He is, Eddie Guerrero. Gets the three count. Frog splash off the top rope and Bruiser Brody couldn't answer the bell. Eddie Guerrero gets the three count. <laughs> you, you think so, Gatsby? <laughs> I don't know, man. It, you know, and, and I, I see on, on uh, all over social media, everyone's like, oh, she's so invested in the match. She was emotionally invested. Shut up. You know, that's so stupid. Three and a half stars is your official match rating. Eddie Guerrero. We get the three count on Bruiser Brody. You know, her job is the ring announce. Announce the results. Announce the combatants. That's it. She doesn't need to be emotionally involved in the story. Oh, she is? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. I, I thought that was completely un unprofessional. And I, I didn't like it at all. You know, the, 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 Howard Finkel would never have done that. He would have gave it an outstanding... Closing match result, but he wouldn't have cried. Gary Capetta wouldn't have cried. David Petzer Penzer wouldn't have cried. Uh, uh, yeah, that's. I don't know, man. I, I did not like it, and a lot of people did. And I've seen it all over social media. That's why I didn't say anything on social media. I don't want the backlash from it. 
but to me it, it rubbed me the wrong way all right but i'm old school you know and then that's why i see things differently the younger generation they they want to see their ring announcers getting emotionally invested in the stories and that's fine that's that's up to them that's their prerogative i don't think it has a place She's not the play-by-play -play announcer. If the play-by-play -play guy was crying, I get it. I would, I would get that. He's, he's calling the action. He's, he's emotionally invested in the story. She's a ring announcer. Come on. Nah, that's enough of that. <laughs> All right, that puts us to the intermission part of the show. Let's take a look at how we got here in Calgary on Thunder. Stone Cold Steve Austin started us off with a fantastic match. Four stars. Stone Cold got the stunner, and he got the victory over the Blue Blazer. He won't be looking to step into the ring with a blazer anytime soon because that was a tough match for Steve. The Big Show got a good victory over Crusher Blackwell. Triple H got his ass handed to him by Justin Michaels most of the match, but he did get the victory in the end. And Eddie Guerrero got the win over Bruiser Brody. So we've had four solid matches so far here. Yeah, I saw some of the uh, I saw some of the um, highlights from that one too. I wasn't really impressed with that, and and the 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 Roman Reigns match was good. Don't get me wrong; I don't want to take anything away from the match. It was a good match, but the, all the shit at the end, I could do without it. All right, second half of action tonight. We got X Pac, X Pac battling Kane. Goldberg, he's your hardcore champion. He'll be going up against Ric Flair tonight. Vader is here, speaking of Roman Reigns. The head of the table will be battling the man they call Vader. And tonight's main event is a tag team attraction. It is the Von Erichs taking on the superstars. Tonight's second half of action is brought to you by Fanatics. Use the link in the description below to get to Fanatics.com. Officially licensed everything. Get your favorite NCAA, NHL, NFL, and Major League Baseball apparel, merchandise, and memorabilia at Fanatics.com by using the link in the description below. They have specials every day on their website as well, so make sure you use the link in the description below to get to that website. Do it, do it now. Do it now. All right, just one more reminder, April 14th this Sunday, just a couple days away. FWE is putting on a benefit wrestling show for the Moffitt Cancer Center here in Tampa. Florida Wrestling Entertainment. I will be part of the meet and greet before the show. A portion of my book sales from the meet and greet will be added to the donation for the Moffitt Cancer Center. It's going to be an afternoon of free wrestling. You don't have to buy a ticket. It's free to attend. Come on down, Oldsmar, Florida. All the information is on my Twitter, Facebook and my website, come on down, check out some free wrestling, help us raise some money for the Moffitt Cancer Center Sunday with 2 o'clock bell time. It's going to be a good time. All right, starting the second half of action, we got X-Pac taking on Kane. I know Gatsby had already put up his prediction, even though he didn't need to. He's going with X-Pac to get the win here. I cannot support that pick. I have to go with Kane. I think Kane is too much. For Xbox, and I think the fans here in Calgary are going to see that. Let me know who you think is going to get the victory. Kane or Xbox. Oh, you did, Godspeed? Did he say anything? What did he say? He's a two time Hall of Famer ready to make a little noise. Minnesota, weighing in at 212 pounds, x -Pac. Think about what x -Pac brings to the equation. Lightning fast martial arts strikes, incredible high-flying <laughs> Yeah, attacks. and that's all that matters now that Rock's on the board of directors. <laughs> multiple tag title and 
Cruiserweight title wins. The Big Red Machine is here. And his opponent from the pits of hell. Weighing in at 323 pounds. What a terrifying sight to behold. What a frightening presence. The evil inside this man. Matched by the frightening amount of destruction that Kane is capable of. A multi-time champion. He's dominated WWE for... Uh, she's actually doing pretty good today, guys. We, thank you for asking. She went, to, um, she went with Bonnie down to Sarasota. Today, Bonnie had to drop some art off at a gallery that represents her. So she had to bring some stuff down here today. And normally I go with her, but her mom wanted to go today and she fell up to it. So she took the ride down there with her. So she's doing pretty good today. Yeah, it's a two hour trip down there and two hours back. And I just talked to her before I went live here and they were on their way back. She seemed to be doing good, so. She enjoys the trips when she's feeling up to it. Kane with a two-handed choke slam. X Pac hits the mat hard. Hammy stomp by Kane. Jumping elbow drop to the chest. Went for the big leg drop and missed the mark. X Pac saw it coming. Wanted nothing to do with it. Look at the scoop slam by X Pac on Kane. Off the rope. Sliding leg drop there by X Pac. He's going to hop his way up to the top rope. What's he got in mind? Telling the big man to get to his feet. X Pac, look at the diving drop kick to the face. Perfectly executed. And now X Pac got a Cobra clutch locked in. On Kane. Referee's in back of him. I don't know how he could possibly hear what he's saying. Oh, that's Bonnie just texted me just now asking me what kind of pie I want from Perkins. Her and her mom must have stopped there for lunch. I love their pies. Hang on a second. Lemon meringue pie it is. <laughs> There's a Perkins that we go to. I don't know if they have, do they have Perkins up there? They, they, they're a chain restaurant down here. We love that place. But there's none right here near home, so whenever we go to Sarasota, we always stop on the way back down to Clearwater. But I didn't go today, so. But they must have stopped there for lunch. Cool. No, no Perkins up there? Oh, I love them. They're not as prevalent as they used to be. They used to be a lot more of them around. But they have great burgers. Great menu altogether. Dessert menu, meal menu, entrees. Reasonably priced. Always have good service. But there's only one left around here. Everything closed, all the ones around here. There's one in Clearwater. That we try to hit whenever we come through, usually on the way back from Sarasota. Obviously, your mom was peeling up to stopping for lunch, so that's good. Oh, 
X Pac goes for the cover. Two count. Kane's in trouble. He is still in this. Kane is in trouble. Face plant. Kane's in more trouble now. X Pac has the leg hooked and a victory secured. X Pac with the three count on Kane. Godspeed's the only one that called that one right. What an upset. I got to call that an upset. I'll tell you what, X-Pac has been dominating here in the WCW. He doesn't have the uh, Hardcore Championship anymore. He just lost it to Goldberg recently, but he was the champion for a long time. And he holds his own against whoever he comes across in the ring. X-Pac gets a little more respect for me every time he steps into the squared circle. Two stars is your official match rating. That's X-Pac with a victory over Kane. That tells you a little bit. About Kane's performance there. Lackluster. At best. I don't know if she's bringing me one piece of pie or the whole pie. I think she knows better not to waste her time with just bringing one piece. <laughs> Alright, next up we got Goldberg. He is your new hardcore champion. Non-title match here against Ric Flair. Goldberg is involved in a feud with X-Pac over that strap. But if he loses to Ric Flair, Flair will be in line for a shot at the gold. No question about that. Godspeed says Ric Flair is going to get the win. I'm going to go along with that. I am going to go along with that. Let me know who you think is going to get the win. Let's set it a ringside. Let's go for a walk with Goldberg. I mean, this match is a perfect telltale about what this game, what the people at 2K can do. Ric Flair looks like a cartoon character with straw hair. And Goldberg looks almost as real as if he was standing right in front of you. I mean, that doesn't look anything like Ric Flair. Vague resemblance. Yet yeah, Goldberg looks like he's standing right in front of you. I mean, it's in, it's incredible. How can they nail him? The Rock is another one, and Flair looks so bad. It's almost like they let the weekend people work on Ric Flair. <laughs> Goldberg and Ric Flair. Title's not on the line here, but the fans surely will see a good match. The two -time. 
set for action here tonight. Of course he's set for Goldberg just to tosses him aside. Always ready to style and profile, and tonight's no different. You're looking at a man who always has a plan. Always. That patented elbow right across the chest. Rick Flair delivers on Goldberg. Flair trying to soften up those legs, you know why. We're going to see a figure four in the very near future. Flair's going to go for a cover a little bit early. Not even a one count. That was a waste of time, Rick. Come on, you're better than that. Nice reversal by Goldberg. And he's going to toss the nature boy over the top rope out onto the floor here at the Calgary Saddle Dome. Goldberg follows him out. Knee to the face. Wow. Right smack in the middle of the face. Nature Boy's not going to like that. Big right hand to the side of the head. Goldberg military presses Ric Flair and gives him a gut buster across the knee. Ric Flair is off to a very slow start here. There's a boot reversal. Only stopped him for a moment, though. Goldberg tosses Nate to the other side of the ring area. Arm breaker by Goldberg. He's got Flair up, walks him over to the railing. What's he going to do? Oh, he drops him head first on that steel barricade. What a cowardly move by Goldberg. Rick Flair may be unconscious. Ref Scott is at seven. Goldberg's taking a rest in the ring. Flair finally gets to his feet. Gets back in the ring at the count of eight. Goldberg waiting for him. Rested. Neck breaker. Arm breaker. Goldberg. Uh-oh. Goldberg thinks he has him ready. Flair doesn't know where he is. Goldberg landing him up. Spear. Nailed him. Goldberg has the leg hook. Going for the victory. And Nature Boy kicks out at the count of two. But Rick, yeah, Rick Flair, that was a slow kick out. He's in trouble. Goldberg brings him in. Uh oh, this could be the end. No, Flair slipped out the back door. Took out the knee. He wanted nothing to do with that jackhammer. Although, he may not be out of the woods yet. That was a swinging neck breaker, and you can tell that hurt. Flair's in trouble, and he's in pain. Goldberg flailing away. And he's feeling pretty good about himself, and he should. He's in complete control of the match. And he's at the submission hold, locked in the middle of the ring. Goldberg's got Ric Flair in a world of hurt. Referee's sort of right there. Nice move by Flair. Gets out of trouble. A couple of right hands. Goldberg has to break the hold. Ric Flair has Goldberg up. Pile driver on the hardcore champion. I don't know why Flair dragged him away. He really wasn't near the ropes. He's got the leg hooked. And it's a two count. Title's not on the line here. Goldberg's not... In in any danger of losing the strap. But he doesn't want to face Ric Flair in a title match, so he does not want to lose. He's really, Goldberg's had the advantage through most of the match. Oh, look at this! Small package, nicely done by Goldberg. Flair's in trouble! Just got out before the three count. That took Flair by surprise. Nicely done by Goldberg. And he wasn't paying attention. Talking to the crowd, Ric Flair takes advantage and he's got the figure four locked in. Goldberg might be able to reach the rope if he tries a little bit, but he may not know where he is. That's a ton of pressure on the knees. Flair can break those kneecaps. Goldberg screaming in pain. Flair lets it go. He had it for quite a while though. He may get a pinfall out of it if the referee pays attention. He did not get it. Goldberg kicked out. Two count. Flair can't believe it. He thought that was the end. Uh -oh, get ready to... Andre the Giant patented elbow there right across the chest. Squeezing the air out of the chest cavity. Now he's got the knee in the small of the back. Fingers locked under the chin. Referee 
can't hear what Goldberg's saying. I don't know how he thinks that's a good position. He needs to go back to referee school. Blair trying to lock the figure forward once again, and he does. Goldberg's close to the rope, though. Blair has it cinched in. Goldberg flailing all over the place. He can't get out of it. He's in so much pain. He doesn't realize he's so close to the rope. Referee's right there. Blair cinching it down. Loosen the hold, though. He had to let it go. He's going for the pinfall now, and he may get him. He does. Rick Flair gets a three count on Goldberg, and that certainly muddies up the hardcore championship picture. Here is your winner, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. Rick Flair with a non-title win. Non-title match victory over Goldberg. And Ric Flair is going to get a shot in the near future at that hardcore championship. Three-star match rating. It was indeed a good match. Goldberg is the hardcore champion. He's in a feud with X-Pac over the gold. And now Ric Flair has inserted himself right smack in the middle of the hardcore championship picture. That is going to have severe implications all right next up we got two big men here vader going up against roman reigns i'm gonna go with roman reigns vader's a tough customer but so is roman reigns let me know what you guys think who do you think is going to get the win here godspeed says big man vader is going to get the win i'm going to go with roman reigns let me know what you guys think. Let's send it down to ringside here in Calgary. Here comes the Mastodon. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the Rocky Mountains. Weighing in at 450 pounds. The man they call athletically gifted big men in the history of this business an all-american college football standout spent time playing professional football. vader against roman reigns here on thunder in front of a sellout crowd at the calgary saddle dome just a reminder tomorrow's live stream normal time 6 30 for tomorrow's live stream and it will be WWF's Saturday Night Main Event coming at you tomorrow. 6.30 is stream time tomorrow. Hockey season's just about done for the Devils anyway. I'll be going back to the nightly 6.30 streams. My advice for any Vader opponent, run. So tomorrow's live stream at 6.30, World Wrestling Federation Saturday Night Main Event tomorrow night. Tonight, we still have a couple matches here left on Thunder. Calgary Saddle Dome is the location. Vader going up against this man here, the head of the table. Roman Reigns making an appearance on WCW's Thunder. From Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! Already cemented himself as an all-time great, a multiple WWE and Universal Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, held the Universal title for over a year. I don't have anything against Roman Reigns. I know a lot of people don't like him. I met him at uh, Rocky's, Rocky Johnson's funeral. And he was very nice. The man who now leads the bloodline. A man who used to fight with honor. 
But I don't agree with all this talk of him being one of the best ever. The 1,000 days and 55 title defenses in comparison to the three or four other guys who held the titles that long. And I know I can tell you that I think when they celebrated the 1,000 days, that was kind of stupid. I mean, it's not really an accomplishment when the people backstage dictate who's going to win. Oh, he'll show why he's at the I mean, if it was real life, chain. he's going out there every day, and he's champion for a thousand days, I'll be the first one to shake his hand. But you're celebrating an achievement that is not real. <laughs> and I mean, I love wrestling, but let's be, let's be real about it. There's the bell. We're underway. Vader and Roman Reigns here on Thunder. I think this might be the first time we've seen Roman. First time in a while, anyway. There's a DDT. And look at that. Vader's been busted open right off the bat. Roman Reigns not wasting any time. The big man is bleeding already. Roman's stomping away in his fingers. He's going to go for a quick cover. He hasn't lost that much blood yet. He's only been bleeding for a second. It can't be. The match just started. Shut up. Big right hand by Roman Reigns to the head. Head butt to the back of Vader's head. He is a sight to behold. Take a picture while you can, everyone. Yeah. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Reigns Irish whips Vader hard into the corner. Follows him in. No, Vader dropped out of the way. Left hand of the face. Nice reversal by the big man. And he tosses Roman into that same corner. Uh oh. Right to the midsection. Ass smash to the midsection. Toss suplex there. Reigns is down. Vader's gonna go for the cover. One count only. Big knee lift. Right in the middle of the face. Vader not happy. He saw his own blood. Not liking what he sees. Roman Reigns with the reversal. And a back body drop reversal by Vader. Nicely done. Uh-oh. Vader's heading up to the top rope. Roman could be in trouble here. Fans worried. Booing. Diving shoulder tackle and Reigns is down. Vader helps him back up. Military press. And drops him right on his face. Reigns whipped hard into the corner. Vader follows him right in there. I can't see what's going on, referee. Please don't stand in front of the camera. Vader's up on the second rope. Roman's down. Vader bomb off the second rope. And he got a two count. It is. Those moves by Vader, they're powerful. They take their toll quickly. Nice forearm reversal there by Roman Reigns. Snapmare Reigns off the ropes. Boot to the face. Vader staring up at the lights here at the Calgary Saddledome. Big right hand, left hand. Went left hand one time. Too often he missed. Roman's still in charge though. DDT. With authority. Roman off the ropes one more time and again. Bottom of that boot right to the middle of Vader's face. Boot to the midsection. He's got it locked in. Roman Reigns has Vader in trouble. He's on the ropes. Vader with a couple of left hands to the body forces Reigns to break the hold. Knee right back to the midsection. Reigns in control again. Uh-oh. Here it comes. He's got it locked in again. Vader's in a lot of trouble here. Second submission hold in a matter of moments. And he cannot reach the ropes. Referee's right there. Vader didn't tap. So says the referee. Roman's going to go for the cover now. He's got the leg hooked. The shoulders are down. And Roman Reigns gets the three count on the man they call Vader. Impressive win for Mr. Reigns here on Thunder. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns! 
I'm sorry, should I cry? <laughs> Here is your winner! Roman! Reigns! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Roman Reigns with a win over the man they call Vader. One and a half stars is your official match rating. I thought it was a little bit better than that. I thought it was a good match. I, I would say I'd give that two and a half stars. It wasn't that bad. We've seen a hell of a lot worse on some of these AI matches on Universe. All right, it's time for the main event of the evening. We have the Von Eriks here in tag team action. They're taking on the superstars, the Canadian and the American superstar, Kerry and Kevin Von Erich. Let me know who you think is going to get the victory here. I'm going with the superstars. I think they're too much for the Von Eriks. Let me know who you think is going to get the win. Should be a good match. Godspeed says the superstars as well. The superstars have very good team chemistry. They're in and out quickly. I think they're just going to be way too much for the Von Eriks. Just a reminder, tomorrow's live stream at 6.30. And another reminder, I'm going to push it all week. I have that appearance coming up. Sunday afternoon, 2 o'clock in Oldsmar, Florida. FWE benefit wrestling show for the Florida. I'm sorry, for the Moffitt Cancer Center in Tampa. I'll be part of the meet and greet before the show. Looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you're in the Tampa area, make sure you stop by. It's free to attend. So no excuse not to come out and see some good wrestling action Sunday afternoon. The There's the superstars. He's scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 495 pounds, the superstars, the, the American superstar and, and the Canadian superstar. Duo looking to show why they run things around here. The American superstar was one of the few guys that I've made, modeled them after the real American superstar, a friend of mine. Down here on the Florida Independent Circuit. I always liked his gimmick. And he's a fan of my books, too. He's a good guy. The WWE here come the Von Erics. Kevin and Carrie. Are they coming out? There they are. And their opponents at a combined weight of 482 pounds. The Von Erichs. The moment this match Carrie Von Erich and Kevin Von Erich taking on the superstars in today's main event here on Thunder. Tomorrow night at 6.30 is the next live stream. WWF Saturday Night Main Event coming at you tomorrow. Today we have Thunder. This is your main event. Sold out crowd at the Calgary Saddle Dome. Jay didn't stick around for very long today. The Von Erics are heavy fan favorites here in Calgary. They like the superstars too, though. They're just so nonchalant coming into the ring. No energy or anything. Carrie's going to get the start for the Von Erics, the American for the superstars. There's the bell. We are underway. Oh, look at the American. <laughs> Springboard clothesline off the second rope right at the referee. Took him out. And when he did, Carrie stomped on his knee. What a way to start the match. That was weak right there. That was bad wrestling right there. Carrie made the tag to Kevin almost immediately. The American no sold that. Hold from Kevin. Pump handle suplex. 
And look at the American. Powerful right hands right to the forehead of Kevin Von Erich. There's a tag, and here comes the Canadian superstar making his first appearance of the bout. Walk right into a right hand from Kevin Von Erich. Wow, knee to the face. Nice move there by Kevin. And he makes the tag to carry. The Canadian is still down. That was a really nice move there by Kevin. Canadian gets to his feet. Spinning right forearm and carries down. Tag is made. Here comes the American. He's got that leg hooked. Nice suplex. Fisherman suplex there by the American. The superstars love to do that small package suplex. Devastating drop to the neck. But right there, Kerry Von Eriks. Inverted suplex has the American in some pain. Aggressive work on that shoulder. Really just laying it in. Great nice reversal there by the American. Right to the kidneys from behind. Wow. He just, he just threw him over him. I guess you would call that a toss suplex, I guess. He just tossed him right over him. That was interesting. The American superstar on the top rope. Diving knee to the throat and Kerry Von Erich is in trouble here. Boot to the midsection. The American brings him in. He has him up. Inverted slam. Wow. He's going to go for the cover. Two count only. Gary kicked out. But he's in, he's in some trouble. Carry around Eric, he's got the claw hold locked in on the American Superstar. The American doesn't know where he is, he's gonna grab the rope, but he's gonna try and get out of it a different way. A couple of right hands to the body. Carry forced to let the hold go. And look at that, German suplex. Carry slammed his head on the turnbuckle on the way down. Kevin came in and made the save. I don't think Kerry was done yet, though. The American tosses Kevin out of the ring, out onto the floor for his troubles. And the American, meanwhile, pounding away left hands after left hand to the side of Kerry Von Erich's head. Knee lift right to the nose. And Kerry with the bulldog. Nice reversal by the Texas Tornado. Right hand to the head. And carry with the waist lock takedown. And a bitch slap of the American superstar. I don't know what's going on outside the ring. Sounds like some hefty action. Spinning right hand by Carey. And the American superstar is staring up at the lights here at the Saddle Dome in Calgary. Carey's going to go for the pinfall. Two and a half count, the American kicked out. Carey slams the American's head into the top turnbuckle. He's busted open. The American superstar is bleeding. Carey finally back up into his corner. Canadian superstar as well. Oh, look at the suplex right on the, right on the neck. Nicely executed by Kerry Von Erich. Here's the hot tag. Canadian superstar comes in. The American's bleeding. He's going to have to attend to himself. Out there on the apron. Canadian has Kevin up. Drops his throat on that top rope. Crushing the larynx. The Canadian goes for the cover. It's a two count. Kevin kicks out. And Kevin Von Erich over the top rope. Out onto the floor, courtesy of the Canadian superstar who heads over to the corner and makes the tag. Here comes the American superstar. He's bleeding. Carey busted him open on that top turnbuckle. Pump handle suplex out on the floor. The mats here in Calgary. They're there, but they're not very thick. 
outside the ring area. What is the American going to do? This isn't going to be good. Oh, slam the small of the back of Kevin Von Erich into the top of the steel barricade. The American gets right back in the ring, gets right back out. Count has been reset. He tosses Kevin back in. Follows him, and that was a mistake. Kevin made the tag. Oh, look at the DDT. Wow. Wheelbarrow DDT by the American Superstar. Nicely done. Solid right hand drops carry. Springboard cross body block. Nailed its mark. The American goes for the cover. Kevin's out on the floor. And it's a two count. Carey kicks out. The American makes the tag. The Canadian now goes to work on Carey Von Erich. Running snapmare. Boot to the midsection by Carey. He's got the claw hold. Carey Von Erich has the claw hold locked in on the Canadian superstar. Canadian trying to get him out, trying to break free, and he can't. Kevin finally gets back up to the ring. The Canadian trying to get to his feet. There's a blow to the midsection, two of them. And Carey loosened the grip enough where the Canadian got out. But he held it for a good time. And now Carey's been busted open. Thanks to that blow to the top turnbuckle, Canadian with a shot to the throat now choking him out. Nice reversal there by Carey. Look at this. Backbreaker by the Texas Tornado on the Canadian Superstar. Spinning right hand and a bloody Carey Von Erich is going to go for the pinfall. Referee way out of position. And the American came in to make the save at the count of two. Carey feeling pretty good. Dropping a knee on the elbow of the Canadian superstar. The American and Kevin are out at ringside. Somebody just got busted open. I couldn't see who it is. Carey slammed into that top turnbuckle. That wound just opened up a little wider. The Canadian going to throw a dragon sleeper on Carey Von Eric, trying to knock him out. They should hold that hold a little bit longer. Make it sell it a little bit more. Canadian looking for the elbow right to the face. Carey's in trouble. Canadian should go for a pin. The other two guys are busy outside the ring. He's going to go for another elbow instead, and he nailed the mark right square to the middle of the face. Try and end it, man. End it. He's going to lock in that. It's a cross face. Carey's in trouble. He may have to tap. Look at the Canadian bending the back in half. Referee's right there, and he tapped. Carey Von Eric taps out the Texas Tornado. It's nothing but a little tropical storm now. It has dissipated. The superstars get the victory, and let's see the Canadian superstar talking shit to Carey there. The American superstar and the Canadian superstar victorious over the Von Erichs. The Canadian superstar forcing Kerry Von Erich to tap out with the crossface. Four stars is your official match rating. Worthy of main event status. That was a good match. And the superstars will get a nice bump in the tag team rankings. Thanks to that victory over the Von Ericks. All right, that's it for today's action. Let's take a look at how we got here and what went down here on Thunder. This Today's recap is brought to you by Godlike Hosting. Premium game hosting service bringing you high performance, minimal ping, and improved protection. They specialize in Minecraft and Grand Theft Auto and 28 other games. If you follow the link in the description below, you'll get a free trial. So if you're looking for a good server for your gameplay, Godlike Hosting is the company for you. Use the link in the description below and you'll get a free trial. All right. Stone Cold Steve Austin got us underway with a four-star win over the Blue Blazer. It was a hard-fought victory. Stone Cold came out on top in the end. The Big Show, Another. all of our matches really were pretty good here tonight. 
today. The Big Show, victorious over Crusher Blackwell. Justin Michaels, the voice, dominated Triple H throughout the entire bout. But Triple H got the victory in the end. Eddie Guerrero, solid win over Bruiser Brody. X-Pac with a stunning win over Kane. Ric Flair victorious over the hardcore champion Goldberg. Non-title match. Ric Flair has now inserted himself right into that hardcore championship picture. Muddies that up a little bit. Roman Reigns got a good victory over Vader. Official match rating was only one and a half stars, but I would give it at least two and a half. It wasn't that bad of a match. And as you just saw, the superstars got the victory over the Von Erichs, the Canadian superstar forcing Kerry Von Erich to tap out. All right. So let's bump the calendar up to tomorrow's live stream, 6.30 tomorrow night. Saturday night's main event, World Wrestling Federation action. Coming at you tomorrow night. Let's take a look at the card. Subject to change, Mr. T taking on Greg the Hammer Valentine. Pat Patterson squaring off against Mr. Fuji, the Brooklyn Brawler scheduled to meet Jim the Anvil Neidhart. Mr. McMahon taking on the genius Lanny Poffo. The Repo Man going up against the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase. That's kind of a funny matchup there. Uh, the Ultimate Warrior will be here. He'll be matching up against Bruno San Martino. Bob Backlund will be in the house going up against the Intercontinental Champion, Tito Santana. That's a non-title match. And the main event of the evening, Pedro Morales going up against Larry Zabisco. That's tomorrow's action, 6.30, the time of tomorrow's stream. All right, today's action has been brought to you by Godlike Hosting. Fanatics and the WWE shop. Use the links in the descriptions below and take advantage of all of the great deals that those three websites have on a daily basis for you. A couple of reminders. My merchandise store is open. 15% off for the next week and a half. Just hit the store link at the top of the channel here. I have some book covers up there on some merchandise and a lot of Tall and Twisters merchandise from the uh, novel Twister Town. Those are cool. Those are pretty cool. So definitely check those out. Uh, let's see. You can join Scott Stevens Gaming. Click the join button and get all the information you need, all the perks that come with becoming a member. Uh, April 14th, this Sunday, FWE Benefit Wrestling Show for the Moffitt Cancer Center in Tampa, Florida. Florida Wrestling Entertainment putting the show on. I will be part of the meet and greet before the show. A portion of my book sales from that meet and greet will be added to the donation going to the Moffitt Cancer Center. That's Sunday at 2 o'clock in Oldsmar, Florida. If you're in the Tampa area, it's free to attend. Come on out, see some good wrestling action, say hi, and help us raise some money for cancer research. All right, and uh, that's going to do it. That's going to be it for me. Thank you, Godspeed, for joining. If you saw anything you like, let me remind you. Make sure you drop a like down below. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, well, what are you waiting for, man? Come on, let's do it. Body slam that subscribe button. And then hit that bell icon right next to it. Turn on all of your notifications so you don't miss out on anything. I have fresh content every single day on the channel. I got four videos going up tonight. Um, regular full match videos uh, going up later on today, for example. And I go live five times a week, so you don't want to miss out on anything. Thank you, Godspeed, for joining. I appreciate it. Godspeed, man. What a, what a loyal viewer. He's all over the world. He's a world traveler, and he always tunes in. Thank you, Godspeed. I appreciate that. Jay was here for a little while. He didn't stay too long, but he was here. Thank you, Jay. And thank you to everyone else who stopped in along the way. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Remind tomorrow, 6.30. Saturday night's main event. Pedro Morales will be there, will you? Hopefully so. I'll see you then. Have a great night. Have a great day tomorrow. Thank you for joining. I will see you at 6.30 tomorrow.